Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about the World Economic Forum and the Great Reset. So the corrupt SEC will sue Binance and Coinbase but not FTX. Is this because FTX was used to launder money for the Democratic Party. Sam Bankman Freed was the second largest donor to the Democratic Party. The World Economic Forum sponsored FTX on their website, which has now been removed. But Sam Bankman Freed also laundered money for the Republican Party. I think he has a lot of good political ties on both sides of the aisle. And I still think FTX was meant to fall at a specific time for a reason. I have a few opinions on this, but like I said, they're my opinions. What are your opinions? Put it in the comments section down below. Now take a listen to what T Tucker Carlson had to say about Sam Bankman Freed back in January. Then it was the WEF that promoted Sam Bankman Freed's historic Ponzi, the biggest financial fraud in history. Apparently, the savants at the World Economic Forum just couldn't tell that this twitchy, pill popping kid in cargo shorts, who literally played video games during interviews, was an utterly transparent scammer. They had no idea. They thought he was a genius, just like them. But I think Tucker Carlson might be wrong. I think actually what was going on, Sam Bankman Freed fits the profile for the perfect fall guy. So I still think the World Economic Forum was behind the fall of FTX to happen at a specific time. Now, people on crypto Twitter keep saying, you know, Binance has no ties to the World Economic Forum, and that's why they're being sued by the SEC. But we see right here, the CEO of Binance US, it comes from the World Economic Forum. She was also the head of XRP Institutional Liquidity at Ripple before as well. Now, because Binance is getting sued by the SEC right now, I think that's happening for a reason as well. Her ties at Ripple, I don't know if they play a part or not. We'll have to wait and see. But I think it all leads up to this. World Economic Forum offers guidance on global crypto regulations. Now, if you watched a few of my other Great Reset videos, I always said that I think the World Economic Forum has crypto regulations already written up, and they're waiting to hand them out to every country ahead of a CBDC. That's my opinion on that. I think Sam Bankman-Fried and FTX had to go down at a specific time. I even think the timing on Coinbase and Binance getting sued is happening at a specific time. But we'll have to wait and see how that all plays out. World Economic Forum document calls for limiting private car use. Drastic reduction in the number of cars by 2050. And again, they don't want me or you driving in the future. They want to place us in a 15-minute city where we have to take public transit and ride bicycles while they're still jet-setting around the world. That's not hypocritical in any way. Of course it is. And you know, if these people have their way, none of us will own nothing in the future. Even Jamie Dimon now talking about running for some sort of political office in the United States, and let's hope that never happens. He wants me and you to give up our private property while he keeps his. These people think they're way above me and you. They, your government, and the World Economic Forum are pricing you out of holidays, your car, eating meat, heating your home, your actual home to make you rent, having children. Wake up, they absolutely, totally hate you. Now this is coming from World Economic Forum UK, but it's no different here in the US. They're pricing us out of everything through inflation right now. And all these ideas that they come up with around climate change. You know, little by little, I keep seeing this carbon offset tax being implemented by certain companies. I talked about it in an XRP video the other day. I rented a car. I had to make a long trip. And I got the bill, and it says right on the bill, carbon offset. It was cheap. It was like a dollar and change. But still, I don't want to see that at all because I know climate change is an absolute scam. It's a tax of the future on me and you. Now, most of you probably know about the wildfires going on in Canada right now. She knows the wildfires, as they are not naturally occurring, 
because someone started them are not climate, oil, or gas production related. Take a listen to this. The Prime Minister is right about this one thing. Climate change is real, but the policies of the current government do not meet the requirements of the moment. We're in a climate emergency. Our eyes are burning in this place. The parliamentary Ottawa bubble has been pierced by the forest fires across this country, and yet in this place, the debates are inane. Please, will the Prime Minister commit to cancelling the Trans Mountain Pipeline protecting the northeastern slope of Newfoundland from oil and gas development now. So let's get rid of oil and gas production. So people have to pay more money for energy bills in the name of climate change. And you know, this lady only cares about the money, just like the rest of them. They all, Even when I talk about Ripple and carbon credits, the reason Ripple is tied in there is because that's where the money is. Look at Hedera tied in there as well with HBAR because that's where the money is. Anywhere you see the money, these ISO coins seem to be play into factor every single time. But, you know, these wildfires, I keep seeing all over crypto Twitter that they were an act of arson. But again, why let something go to waste when you could blame it on climate change? Our friends at the World Economic Forum are telling the truth. Of course, it's all part of the plan. By 2027, at least one-fourth of the labor market will be disrupted by AI. Are you staying on top of this? What happens if your career path is disrupted? Do you have another skill? Now, they're saying the jobs that are not going to be affected by AI are green jobs, like talent, acquisition, associate, sustainability, analyst, sales, development, representative, customer success analyst, sustainability specialist, customer success associate, growth marketing manager, talent acquisition partner, sustainability manager, workplace coordinator. So if your job has to do with climate change, your job is totally safe. So the average guy who went and learned a skill set, he could get put out of a job by AI. But as long as somebody just starting out maybe has no education, as long as their job screen, their job is safe. Again, very hypocritical. Now take a listen to this guy. Now we always talk about AI. He talks about AI running the 2024 election. The next elections in the US, for instance, in November 2024, is likely to be run to a large extent by AI. That the AI will even produce, again, the political speeches, the propaganda in the, in, 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 in the networks will no longer be produced by human beings, but by AI. And we are not prepared to. So the 2024 election, here's my biggest worry on this. You know, we've seen what happened in 2020 with the lockdowns and, and COVID. Are we going to be prepared for another situation where we have to vote by mail or some other means of voting? And if we listen to this guy and AI is going to run the election anyway, what is the sense of voting in the future? And I think they're pushing us in that direction because they want to install World Economic Forum puppets in every government throughout the world so they could push forward with the Great Reset agenda. Now take a listen to what he says here because he says that they no longer even need us as servants or slaves. If you were on the wrong side of history, if you didn't understand what was happening and you, were, and you, you lost the competition, then you ended up as some kind of serf or manual laborer being exploited by the people who understand and have the power. Now, if you're left behind, you're facing something far worse which is to be completely irrelevant. They won't even need you as a serf or as a slave. So they won't even need us as a serf or a slave in the future. You know, he also said, if you end up on the wrong side of history, I think XRP investors, me and you, we're going to end up on the right side of history. Remember in a lot of videos, even going months back, I always said you need to enrich yourself before it's too late. You need to get rich off of the, your crypto holdings. I kept saying, don't listen to these people saying to sell your crypto because it's tied to the World Economic Forum. I said, you need to hold it even more today. 
because you do need to end up on the right side of history. And I think that is what's going to happen. Fisk wants to use AI to monitor global bank transactions for money laundering. They also talk about retina scanning in the future. But the reason that they're pushing this is because this is also going to be tied in with digital IDs in the future. But AI is going to play a factor in so many ways. That's why you see the World Economic Forum going big on AI and blockchain right now. And tokenization. So Brits to receive universal basic income for the first time ever. And the reason they're pushing this right now is because they know AI will take jobs in the future. So anybody who doesn't have money in the future will end up on the universal basic monthly income. Under the scheme, 30 people in two areas will be selected to receive an unconditional sum of 1,600 pounds each for two years. The effects the additional cash has on their lives will be monitored for research purposes. But that's over in England. What about the United States? Well, progressive Texas judge suggests illegal immigrants could receive universal basic income. And they want to give $500 a month to approximately 1,500 families for 18 months. And they're also going to do research on this. Why? Because they want to see how it's affecting people so they could push this on a massive scale in the future once CBDCs arrive. You know, that's why I always said, you know, you have to have privacy laws ahead of a CBDC to make sure that they're not controlling people's transactions, controlling people's money in the future. Because we know that's what they're going to use CBDCs for anyway. But if there's privacy laws, maybe it could prevent some of that. Also, we see a lot of states now fighting back against the CBDC. So maybe CBDCs will be a complete failure. None of us know what the future really holds. But anyway, the way I look at it, you have the one chance in your lifetime to enrich yourself. That's why it's so important to continue holding on to your crypto. And you better be holding your XRP for dear life. Then there's this. So United States Agency for International Development suggests everyone read a bit of the source info themselves, promoting digital ID for inclusion. And you see the features of Joy's identity, name, address, date of birth, place of birth, group membership, reputation, qualifications, biometric features, physical description. And that would be tied into voter ID, beneficiary ID, employee ID. You know, in the future, when you go to get a job, you most likely you'll have a digital ID that's tied to your health records. So if you have some sort of health condition, you most likely will not be able to get a job in the future. Again, that's why they're going so big on universal basic income because they already know that most people will not be able to work in the future. But this looks a lot like this right here. And we know what this is going to lead to. So you see your healthcare, financial services, food and sustainability, travel and mobility. They want to control where you go in the future. That's the whole purpose of 15 minute cities. Humanitarian response, e-commerce, social platforms, e-government, telecommunications. So in the future, if you don't have a digital ID, you won't be able to get a cell phone. You won't be able to access the internet. Everything is all based around control. And people need to wake up before it's too late. That's the whole reason I do these videos. Because I see what's coming. And I share it with all of you. You know, my opinion about the World Economic Forum and global crypto regulations, I'm not sure if I'm 100% right on that. That's why I said put your opinion in the comment section down below. But everything looks like that's happening for a reason right now. And we'll see how it all plays out over time. But I want to try to give you a rough idea on where this is headed. And, you know, everything's about one world this and one world that. Why not one world crypto regulations? That's why I came up with that theory. And, you know, people in this country are going to end up on the universal basic monthly income. Some people will cheer for it early on. 
until they start to realize what it's all about, when they start to try to buy certain things and they can't. And that's when they'll realize they should have woke up far long before it was too late. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.